Mega Gig back with another video. We are back in Diablo 3, and this video is going to be pretty similar to the other video I put up uh, so far. I haven't had any other uh, Diablo 3 content up yet. Hopefully, that'll change sooner or later. Or sooner. <laughs> Um, but um, we are in patch 2.4.3 that dropped earlier this afternoon and uh, I was pretty excited because the Barbarian Whirlwind buff um, or Whirlwind build got buffed. Uh, it's not as big of a buff as I was hoping and I've heard a lot of other people that uh, uh, there's been other Diablo YouTubers and such say that they think the buff should have been bigger you can see down there the set piece 6 instead of dust devils gaining 2500 percent damage um, you still gain the dust devils rune but all whirlwind damage is now increased by 800 uh, percent which is pretty nice but a lot of people I kind of agree with them it probably should have been bumped up to 12 or even 1500 percent to be a viable build uh, for pushing higher greater rifts um, I don't think Blizzard really wants this build to be in higher greater risk for some reason. Now I know there are people uh, with higher paragon levels and their stuff uh, augmented and everything. You know they're pushing uh, 90s right now with this build, and you know that's great. Um, for me, the last video I did, I pushed a, I did a greater risk 65, and I think there was two or three minutes left. Since then, I've gotten a little stronger, and I was doing up to 68. Um, if everything went well I could do a 68 with about two minutes left and uh, just this morning I actually did a 70 with this before the patch dropped with the old set and uh, I did a 70 but I wasn't able to complete it in the time so I didn't get to upgrade my gems boohoo um, but I was able to do it uh, now I've run one test run and I did a 70 with about three minutes left so we're going to preview that and uh, show it is a little bit stronger. It looks like just coming straight over, not changing anything else, just the just the buff to the set itself. Um, at least for me, with the minimal testing that I've done, it looks like it's going to add just a couple of greater rift levels to what you're on now. I was doing 68s pretty comfortably for a few days, and it looks like now I can do 70, maybe 71 comfortably. Uh, everything else is the same. We're using our gems. Um, oh, that was the Crusader talking. I was like, what's going on there? <laughs> um, using the same gems as before. Bane of the Stricken, Gogok of Swiftness, and Tagak. Um, everything else is the same as before as well. Uh, you can see here, though, Overpower has also been changed. You, you can now... Uh, have up to three stacks to it. Other than that, it's basically the same, and you can cast it really fast. I have noticed that um, you know critical hits have a chance to reduce the recharge time of overpower by one second. That didn't change, but what I noticed in um, in the little bit that I've played is the critical hits don't seem to reduce the recharge time as much as they did. Uh, prior to the patch I could be in a big group spinning around and this would pretty much always be up and now there's there's definite downtime um, and I'll show you that after a while uh, there is another new item that I don't actually have and I really wanted until I realized let's just buy a bunch of these and see if we can get one I really wanted until I realized it would um, it would uh, not allow me to use this spell which would uh, get rid of my ignore pain increase but it's the new saffron wrap and it increases your overpower damage It increases the next one by a percent based on how many enemies uh, you've prior hit so if it's like increase it up to 50 percent for each enemy hit 50% for five enemy hits, five enemies hit 250% increase on the next one. So that's kind of, uh, yeah, we don't need that. That's kind of, uh, I don't know, I guess it's kind of a buff. It's a buff to overpower, um, but in my case, I can't use, I wouldn't be able to use this, so 
Uh, we'll go ahead and check our cube to still run in the furnace. Mantle of channeling and skull grasp. Uh, same, whoops, same weapons. Builds essentially the same. Like I said, I haven't done anything. Uh, one thing that I know that I'm going to start doing that's going to allow me to put push greater risks is you can see the uh, Caldessans to spare. This one was just a rank 30. I did this a while back before I even really knew what uh, it was doing. Um, this was, you know, when I was still getting back into it. Um, but essentially, I want to get some gems that are at least level 65 ish. Um, and I'm, I still use a lot of these, but I'm going to start farming those gems up and then put level 60s or 65s on all the equipment I can, and that'll allow me to, you know, that'll get me stronger as well. Um, let me see, we're also going to go over uh, Paragon, uh, movement speed and strength, everything else max out when you can. Um, this is just the setup I have now. Don't really need a lot of life regeneration. Everything else on this is is great. Um, attack speed is really good on this build, uh, but you really need cooldown reduction and can't really or shouldn't really sacrifice these too much. So I'm still going with attack speed last. And um, yeah, just movement speed and strength there. You can max out fury if you want. But you don't really need extra fury with this build. It's not like uh, you're throwing the ancient spear or whatever. Um, so skills, we are running rampage, uh, berserker rage. Oops, sorry, my microphone cut out for a second. Uh, we're running weapon master to keep us topped off, to keep us completely topped off on fury. Um, because these are mighty weapons, so we're getting <clears throat> excuse me, we're getting two fury per hit, and uh, we're using this because we want this to be up basically all the time. And then of course we're using ruthless as well. You can swap out if you are having a little trouble surviving. You can swap this out for either nerves of steel or my favorite relentless. Um, I like relentless better than nerves of steel. While below 35% life, especially on this build, because you've got a ton of, uh, well, I've got a, a pretty good amount of life on hit, and then uh, I've also got the healing bonus from Whirlwind. So if I was going to switch this out, I like Relentless. Uh, skills cost less. Life per fury, per fury spent is doubled. Damage taken is reduced by 50%. Um, it's not as survivable as this but there's no 60 second cooldown so it's kind of a you know give and take give and take but uh, this is what I'm running here uh, you can kind of get a you can see all the skills there with the runes I'm using and uh, I think that's it um, you can swap out one of these two gems if you like for uh, Wreath of Lightning works fantastic on uh, on a whirlwind build. It's if you don't know what it is, Wreath of Lightning is essentially when it procs, it's a um, it's just like the conduit buff in uh, in uh, in rifts. Uh, it's just not quite as powerful. Um, I would say the conduit buff is probably somewhere around like ten thousand percent. And so this is maybe a quarter of the power, but it's still great. It's still great. And uh, you're hitting so fast so many times in this build that it's basically always up. So you always have the, the extra AoE damage and the movement speed, which is nice. Uh, Bane of the Stricken, or uh, sorry, Bane of the Powerful is also really good. Uh, Bane of the Trapped is really good. Um, and again, Pain Enhancer is really good. Uh, I've just found this build to be the most... Uh, consistent damage and um, survivability. Um, Bane of the Stricken for obvious reasons um, because of the stacking and I guess if you're new to Diablo it wouldn't be obvious to you uh, because of the increased damage over time and uh, the increased damage against bosses and guardians. Um, Swiftness uh, with the attack speed and dodge chance giving you more survivability and also you gain cooldown reduction so it's fantastic for keeping your ignore pain up and you know it's cooldown reduction it works for everything else and then Tegic increases your damage by a lot 
uh, that stacks up to 10 times, so 46% increased damage, and also 2% armor, so 20% armor bonus. So lots of damage, um, some survivability built in there. If you want more damage, uh, I would recommend swapping this out for this. Um, and I've done that. I, I kind of go back and forth sometimes. It's just kind of fun. Um, but really, it's for pushing the higher rifts, you really need uh, Bane of the Stricken. And on this build, you really, really benefit from the cooldown reduction and attack speed. And, of course, dodge chance is nice, too. So these are the gems I'm running. This is generally what I stick with. Anyways, we've got us a couple of uh, keystones. So make sure we got everything on. Greater Rift. We'll do an Empowered Rift, and we're going to go ahead and do a Greater Rift 70. Probably not going to talk too much in this, um, just so I can pay attention. And so you guys can watch kind of unhindered as well. But if I feel like I have something I want to comment on, obviously I'll jump in. Anyways, guys. Let's get going. Enemies of the Mist. If you want a breakdown of the entire build, um, check out my previous video because it's it's basically the same. You can see there the downtime on my overpower. It's not recharging. If you go back and watch the other video you'll see the, the overpower recharge a lot faster. And my critical hit chance with all my buffs up is 62% I believe. So I'm getting a lot of critical hits to, to cool down that overpower. It's just, it's not getting affected like it was. We can go ahead and clear. You can clear whites a lot faster, so if you want to go ahead and clear a big blob like this, you can. And I'm going the wrong way. Uh-oh. Whoops. Sorry about that. I uh, went to take a drink and didn't expect to get feared and died instantly. No way. No more drinks. No more drinks till this is over. I can't. I need Darn it. My ignore pain wouldn't come up. No more drinks, but more deaths. It seems like the... Uh, and maybe I didn't actually check that... Uh, the ring that... Uh, what's it called? The gives the cooldown reduction. Maybe that's... Dang. Maybe that's not proccing anymore. Um, reduce remaining cooldown on one of your skills by one second when hit with a resource spending attack. Yeah, something... Something's not triggering like it was. That's alright, we'll be fine. No more talking, let's get back into this. Got another elite pack showed up. I do apologize for the rough start. It happens, you misclick stuff, blah blah blah. Doesn't really matter. Uh oh. The point is just showing off that uh, I can, showing off the, the buff, and that I can indeed do higher rifts now, easier. I'm really getting tired of these wallers. Now we can spam this, at least since we've got our uh, channeling uh, in our shrine. Ooh, let's get out of those. Wait, 
cast our Wrath Berserker one more time before the channel goes down. I can't. Just like the League videos, this is... It's definitely harder to pay attention and give commentary at the same time. And I say I'm going to pay attention and not give commentary, and then I give commentary. It's hard not to. And you get so you can see we are doing a lot more damage than previously. But it's still not as much as I would have liked. I really don't care for the, uh, the Furious Charge build. I'm still working with it, I'm still getting better at it, but my favorite uh, is either this or the Leap Quake build. And which way am I going? put our Paragon point in there. Let's see if we can draw these guys over here too and put them both at the same time. And we've died, what, three times now? And our time is still doing really good, so... Yeah, it's, it's stronger. It's definitely stronger. Woo! Free trip out of town. If they didn't want to buff uh, all of the whirlwind damage to 12 or 1500 percent, they could have buffed it like they did, but they could have left the 2500 percent on the tornadoes. I don't know. There's different things they could have done. It's not a huge deal. Maybe it'll get buffed again someday. Not that way. Now I was uh, a couple weeks ago when I put up that other video. I was what level 690, I think, Paragon. Now I'm 757, so I've got a few more Paragon points. Not too many. Whoa, that hurt. We can go ahead, and pop everything, and just clear that out. Kind of an interesting floor. I've never seen one quite like this before. I mean, I've been on this uh, floor or map before, but it's never been so linear. And I hope the quality turns out better. Uh, I turned the, the bitrate up. I doubled it from what it was. There he is. He's got kind of a beast. If our ignore pain does not come up very fast, we need to disengage. Yeah, and this run actually went better 
uh, the first run I did uh, after the patch, I didn't die and I only had like two minutes left. This run is going much better. I'm not really sure why. No way. I might have had the wrong ring in actually. So 5 minutes 57 seconds on uh, Rift 70. Uh, compared to the last video, I haven't really changed anything um, build-wise. I've just got a few more Paragon points. And that's pretty much it. Let's collect all of our stuff. We are working on gems. Uh, you can see I really um, I use all of these at some point in time or another so I'm probably just gonna push all of them to 65 if I can darn um, and then uh, I'll probably start leveling up these other gems and just start feeding them to my items and um, I'm not exactly sure what rank 65 would be. 60 would be 300 strength of the Caldessans Despair. So, so yeah. Um, that's the new Whirlwind build. That's the buff. You guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, or if you have any comments in general or whatever. If you like the video, leave a like. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. More good stuff to come.